So, dear children, welcome to this uh, EduSat English Teleteaching Program. Today, we are going to discuss one of the very important topics uh, in your textbook. Before going to the topic, I would like to tell you a very good uh, event about the former president Barack Obama. So, let me tell you the incident and then we will discuss the topic. So, my dear children, Barack Obama became the president of the USA in 2009. So, in that year, he visited one school and at the time of addressing the children, when he was delivering a very good speech to the children, he invited all the children to ask him some questions and a student of class 9, grade 9 suddenly stood up and all the audience, they encouraged him, they clapped loudly and they encouraged him. Barack Obama also, who was the 44th president of the USA, America, he also encouraged the child and the child asked one question. The question was very, very interesting. It was a puzzling question to the president. The question was, he said, Mr. President, we, I would like to know from one thing. If you want to select one of the persons, maybe dead or alive, to have dinner with you, then who would be the selected person for you? The question was very difficult. One person for the most powerful president of the world to have his dinner with him. So, he chuckled, he smiled, he stopped for a moment and answered, oh, the person I think, although he is dead, he is Mahatma Gandhi from India. So, my dear children, you see, the most powerful president of the world, I can say, Barack Obama, who was very popular then, who was elected as the 44th president, he told the children in one high school, the high school name of the high school was Wakefield High School, Wakefield High School of the USA and he said, Gandhi will be my companion to, I will be very much happy to have my dinner with him. Once in another meeting, one of the Nobel Prize winners, Wan San Su Kyu of Burma, Burmese Nobel Prize winner. He also went to America and he delivered a speech in Columbia University. Before the professors and before the students, he also invited questions from the children. And one of the students of that university, Columbia University asked, Madam, could you please tell us who is your role model? The Burmese Nobel Prize winner said, Gandhiji is my role model. I like to follow his principles. And I think you also know Nelson Mandela, who is uh, the greatest leader in South Africa. He also said in a general meeting that I follow the principles of Gandhiji and Gandhiji is one of my greatest teachers. Once Albert Einstein, again the most popular scientist, he also told the audience, told the people when he was asked a question, who is your role model? Who do you like most? Whose principles do you follow? He said, Gandhiji. And the most popular, our president Abdul Kalam, after holding the seat of the president, he went to China. And in Peking University in China, he also delivered a speech and he was asked a question, sir, you are now the most popular personality in India and who do you follow, who do you like most in the world, he said Gandhiji. So, my dear children, you see most of the great personalities of the world, 
they appreciate Gandhi ji, they follow Gandhi ji's principles, they like Gandhi ji and they also say Gandhi ji is or was Gandhi ji is uh, their best teacher for them and they like to follow the principles. And we are going to discuss a very good topic. The topic is at the high school which has been written by Gandhi ji. This is uh, an autobiography of Gandhi ji, you see a uh, nice picture Gandhi's high school, right. And he has written this, uh, written a book in that book, we have extracted a part the life period, the very short period of his high school career and today we are going to discuss at the high school by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Right? Before going to discuss the topic, let us see something about the writer, let us know something about the writer uh, who is uh, uh, very popular, who is uh, regarded as our father of nation, let us know something about his writing and as a writer. Right? So, you see the, the author of this uh, topic at the high school is M. K. Gandhi, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. He was, as you know, he was born in 2nd October 1969 and he was assassinated, he was killed on 30th January 1948. He was the tallest leader, one of the tallest leaders of the world. He was India's greatest leader and he is regarded as the father of nation and this topic at the high school has been extracted from his book, My Experiment with Truth. And he wrote this book in his own language, Gujarati language, original language is Gujarati and it has been translated by Mahadev Desai in English. And this book contains, this book contains uh, uh, the uh, different types of events basing on which are really related to truth and non-violence from his early childhood till 1921. So, this is the period he has written, he has himself written in this book. The name of the book is My Experiments with Truth and this uh, uh, at the high school, this is a part of that book and he has also written some other books like My Experiments with Truth, Hind Swaraj, Indian Home Rule, these are some of the very leading books, very important books of Mahatma Gandhi. Let us discuss and let us know something about his high school career and how he was very truthful, how he was very humble, how he was very polite and we can know a lot of qualities and we must also learn a lot of things from his high school career. So, let us go to the text. I am going to read out the first paragraph. We have seven paragraphs and uh, we can divide the text for easy understanding into two parts. We can take the first uh, uh, four paragraphs in one part, paragraph 1, paragraph 2, paragraph 3, paragraph 4 and then we can also come to paragraph 5, 6, 7. So, today in this session, we are going to discuss the first part paragraph 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let us know a lot of things about his high school career. Let me go to the text. So, dear children, you see I am going to read out the text. The title of the text is uh, at the high school. I was not regarded as a fool at the high school. I always enjoyed the affection of my teachers. Certificates of progress and character used to be sent to the parents every year. I never had a bad certificate. In fact, I even won prizes after I passed out of the second standard. In the fifth and sixth, I obtained scholarships of rupees 4 and 10 respectively, an achievement for which I have to thank good luck more than my merit. So, again I repeat the first paragraph, you listen to me and look at the screen, have a look at the screen. I was not regarded as a fool at the high school. I always enjoyed the affection of my teachers. Certificates of progress and character used to be sent to the parents every year. I never had a bad certificate. In fact, I even won prizes after I passed out of the second standard. 
in the fifth and sixth I obtained scholarships of rupees 4 and 10 respectively, an achievement for which I have to thank go good luck more than my merits. So, dear children, uh, we have some new words in this paragraph. Let us know the meaning of these new words, then we will discuss what is there in this paragraph. So, let us know the new words which are there in this paragraph. There is a word in this paragraph regard it. So, regard it means considered, Gandhiji was regarded, he was not regarded as a fool, he was not considered as a fool, right. Nobody considered him as a fool, respectively, each separately in the order given means respectively Kramanware, right. He got scholarships uh, in class uh, fifth and or fifth standard and sixth standard of uh, four and ten rupees respectively, right. So, achievement something successfully finished or we can say success, achievement success, right. So, let us discuss the paragraph. So, you just see children, the text begins with I, the pronoun, because it is an autobiography, autobiography means uh, the life history written by the person himself. So, Gandhiji has written this uh, uh, life history, his life history in the book My Experiments with Truth and this is a part of that book, high school career, right. That is why the first, the beginning sentence begins with I and that supports, that gives the idea that this is an autobiography and written by Mahatma Gandhi. So, Gandhiji was not considered as a fool at the high school, he said no. You see, from the very beginning of the text, Gandhiji wants to say that he is very humble from his self. That means, he was not a good student, he said. He was not a brilliant student, he said. He said, no, I was not a fool, right. So, I was not considered as a fool and uh, we can also see he uh, he enjoyed the affection of his teachers. I always enjoyed the affection of my teachers. His teachers, they loved him very much, they liked him very much and certificates of progress and character used to be sent to the parents every year. So, he studied in that high school, he studied in Rajkot High School of Gujarat, Rajkot High School and in Rajkot High School that was a English school at the beginning that was called a uh, that was Rajkot English School, later it was uh, named as uh, Rajkot High School. Then after 1947, it was named as uh, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi High School, right. So, the teachers they loved him very, met, very much, certificates of progress and character were sent to the parents and he said, I did not have a bad certificate, all the certificates were very good, right. So, certificates were very good means Gandhiji studied nice, he was a good student, but he writes, I was not regarded as a fool, I was not a fool. This is, uh, this reflects, this says, this indicates his humbleness, politeness, right. And he also said, after passing out of second standard, he got scholars, he got, uh, he won prizes, he got prizes. And in sixth and, in fifth and sixth standard, he got scholarships of rupees 4 and 10. So, rupees 4 and 10, that was a very uh, big amount during that period, in Gandhi's period, right. So, during that period, it was a very good amount and that he was uh, given, he was uh, given that type of scholarship, he, he got the scholarship in class 6, in class 5 and 6. And he said, I never thought that this is my merit, this is my quality, because of my quality, I got this scholarship. He said, no, because of the blessings of God, I got this scholar, scholarship and this reward. That is why he said, I regarded actually, I thank good luck than my own merit. That means, I salute to the God for my performance, for my achievement to get this scholarship, right. So, this is all about first paragraph. Uh, let me see what we, you just see, this is the first paragraph main ideas, Gandhi's studies, 
this is the central idea Gandhi story this paragraph contains or gives the idea Gandhi's about Gandhi stories. He was not regarded as a fool, his teachers he enjoyed the affection of teachers, so his teachers loved him very much. Certificates of progress and character were sent to Gandhi's parents. He did not have a bad certificate, always all the certificates were good and won prizes after the second standard, he got prizes and in standard fifth and sixth he got scholarship and for all these things he thanked God, he thanked good luck more than his own quality, more than his own merit. This is all about first paragraph and before going to the first paragraph, we can also discuss some of the comprehension questions, so that we can again understand the text better. So, dear children let us discuss the comprehension questions, question number 1. So, what is a biography, what is an autobiography? So, you see life story of a person written by others is biography and life story of a person written by himself is an autobiography and I have already told you this is an autobiography and the name of the autobiography is my experiment with truth and this is this at the high school is a part of this autobiography. Let us go to question number 2. Is this lesson a biography or an auto autobiography? Support your answer with reasons. We have already discussed this is an autobiography and you can find a number of I the pronoun and the sentence it is the beginning sentence itself begins with I. So, I means it indicates that Gandhi has written this text, written this book and this is a part of that book. So, let us go to question number 3. Was Gandhi good at stories? How will you support your answer? Yes, certificates, prizes and scholarships these are the supports. So, my dear children. Gandhi was uh, not so brilliant, but he was not a fool. He said, I was not regarded as a fool and he was a good student, he was good at his studies. Let us go to the next question. Question number 4, what did Gandhi ji enjoy at school? Affection of his teachers, Gandhi ji enjoyed his affe the affection, the love and affection of his teachers, his teachers all staff members of the school, they liked, they loved Gandhi very much. The next question, what kind of certificates were sent to his parents? We have already discussed, his certificates were good. So, certificates of progress and character were sent to the parents and these were good certificates. He did not have any bad certificate, he had never a bad certificate throughout his career. Let us go to number 6 question, which standard did he win prizes in? After passing out of the second standard, we have already discussed, after passing out to of the second standard, Gandhi got our own prizes in his high school career. And question number 7, which standard did he get scholarships in? He got scholarships in fifth and sixth standard, right. Let us go to the next question, question number 8. So, question number 8, what were the amounts of his scholarships? He got scholarships of rupees 4 and 10, 4 rupees in class 5 in standard 5 and 10 rupees in standard 6. This was his scholarship, right. And question number 9, who did he thank more for his scholarship himself or his good luck? I have already told you, he was very polite, he was very humble, he did not say anything about his own merit, about his own quality. So, he always thanked his good luck, thanked to God, he was very grateful to the God. Next question, what do you know about Gandhi as a person? What type of, what kind of person was Gandhi? He was a humble, he was not proud, he was never a proud person. He was very polite, very humble, very honest, truthful like this, right. So, I think you have understood the first paragraph very clearly the beginning of the text. Let us go to the next paragraph, listen to me, have a look at the screen, I am going to give you the text the second paragraph. So, this is second paragraph, please listen to me, I am going to read out. My own recollection is that 
I did not have any high regard for my ability. I used to be astonished whenever I own prizes or scholarships, but I very jealously guarded my character. The least little blemish drew tears from my eyes when I merited or seemed to the teacher to merit a rebook. It was unbearable for me. I remember once received corporal punishment. I did not so much so mind uh, the receive, uh, receive the corporal punishment as the fact that it was considered my uh, desert. I wept piteously that was when I was in the first or second standard. So, my dear children, I have divided this a long paragraph. So, I have divided this paragraph into two short paragraphs and we will dis discuss this paragraph in uh, at two times. That means, we will discuss the half of the paragraph first, then another half. Right. So, let us go to see some new words which are there in this second paragraph. So, you see many new words you can find recollection that is memory. right? So, my recollection means my memory, my remembrance, my recall. So, what rem Gandhi remembered? He gives, he writes in his book. This is his recollection. Astonished, surprised. I was astonished when I got scholarships and I won prizes. I was surprised, I was amazed, I was wondered because I do not feel that Gandhi said, I do not feel that I should get this type of prizes and scholarships. Jealously. So, here jealously means in this text, in this context, jealously means very attentively, carefully. Gandhi said, I very jealously guarded my character, means he was very much careful about his character. He guarded his character, he always, uh, he was very much conscious about his character. Blemish, little, the least little blemish, there is a sentence we will discuss. The least little blemish, that is a very difficult actually a phrase. Least means little, less, least. The superlative degree of adverb less means the smallest thing, the smallest of the small and here blemish means fault. Then Gandhi was very much worried about his the smallest of uh, faults or flaws. Merited what someone should get means what Gandhi got that was he, that he merited or he got that the due right and rebuke scolding feel the language gali juta gomikuch corporal beating with stick right corporal punishment means gandhi ji once uh, he got corporal punishment he was punished uh, with uh, a stick beto mara jao kuch corporal punishment desert what someone deserves someone deserves this that is his desert saha paiba ku jogyo se seta ku ingraji re ame desert boli kahu piteously sadly or sorrowfully so let's uh, discuss this paragraph then so, my own recollection, my own memory is that I did not have any high regard for my ability. Gandhiji said he did not have his uh, uh, own regard, own respect, high respect for his own quality, for his own ability. And I used to be astonished whenever I won prizes. So, he was surprised, oh, how I was able to get this uh, scholarship. This was his uh, feeling because he did not think that. He was a very good student, he was a brilliant student and he should go, mane, get this type of scholarship and this type of uh, prizes. Right. The least little blemish drew tears from my eyes, the smallest fault, ati chotia bulte, this least little blemish drew tears from my eyes. Right. And so, my dear students, we discussed some of the important words. So, Gandhiji said he did not. Uh, regard his own quality, his own merit and he was very much careful about his own character and he was also very much, uh, uh, he was deeply shocked for small faults, small problems, small mistakes and he did not, uh, he always when he was convicted, when he was uh, 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 rebuked by the teachers, he felt that this was his merit, this was his desert. That means, he should get this, that is why he did not uh, have any reaction for the punishment for this uh, uh, corporal punishment. Tanker, there is no, Tanker actually kisi pratikriya no thila and he thought that I should get this type of punishment, but deeply inside he 
his heart he was very much shocked right. So, we will discuss the second part of this paragraph then we will discuss the comprehension questions right. So, this is half of this second paragraph which are because I have already told you this is a long paragraph. So, children uh, we discuss the first half of the second paragraph uh, let us uh, uh, see have a look at the important ideas uh, uh, of the this uh, half of the paragraph what we discussed. You see we discussed recollection we discussed recollection of Gandhiji his memory of uh, uh, his high school uh, period he did not have any high regard to his ability he did not have any respect he did not think about it and he surprised he was very much surprised to win prizes and scholarships because he was a humble and polite person and he very jealously guarded his character very carefully very cautiously consciously he guarded his character and any rebuke was unbearable for him actually when teacher rebuked him when teacher used filthy language for Gandhiji it was very unbearable but he did not react anything to his teachers right and also uh, he uh, yes he was very much worried about his uh, faults the least little blame is drew tears from his eyes he was crying if he made any mistake a small mistake the smallest mistake then he was crying deeply inside his heart and he also remembers that once he was uh, punished uh, with stick he got corporal punishment. So, my dear children I think you understand this part let us go to the second part of this uh, big paragraph paragraph number 2 right. There was another such incident during the time when I was in the 7th standard Durabji Idulji Jimmy was the head master then he was popular among the boys as he was a disciplinarian a man of method and a good teacher. He made gymnastics and cricket compulsory for the boys of upper standard. I disliked both I never took part in any exercise cricket or football before they were made compulsory. My shyness was one of the reasons for this aloofness which I now see wrong. I had then the false notion that gymnastics had nothing to do with education. Today, I know that physical training should have much place in the curriculum as mental training. So, dear children, in this part also we have some new words, some strange words. Let us know the meaning of these words, then we will discuss the. So, we have one word that is disciplinarian. Disciplinarian means a person of discipline who likes, who maintains discipline, who likes discipline, who gives importance on discipline, a person who makes others work hard, strict headmaster, strict teacher. So, Gandhi's headmaster was a strict, was a disciplinary, he was a very strict person, he was a very strict headmaster. Sinus, sinus means nature of avoiding others, uh, some people are there, they do not like to mix with others because of sinus, large jojahogami coach. And aloofness means distance, indifference, or they want to be alone, aloofness, and to remain alone, right. Curriculum, course of studies are the system, the books, uh, the entire system in uh, the what should be done uh, in the education. So, we have a curriculum, we have course of studies like this. This is one type of course of studies, right. So, let us discuss the paragraph. There was another such incident during the time when I was in the seventh standard. Dorabji Idulj Jimmy was a disciplinarian, was the headmaster, he was a popular he was a popular teacher, and as he was a disciplinarian, a man of method and a good teacher, he made gymnastics and cricket compulsory for the boys of upper standard. So, my dear children, Gandhi describes here that his headmaster's name was Dorabji Idulji Jimi and he was a very good teacher. He was a teacher of method. He taught his children very, very well, right, but he was a disciplinarian. He maintains discipline, he gives uh, more importance on discipline and he was a strict person and one thing he made, he knew that gymnastics and cricket, this type of exercises should be done by these children that is why he made 
these things compulsory. But Gandhiji said he was a shy natured child. So, when before it were before these two things were made compulsory, he did not like, he disliked to go to the gymnastics class to take part or to play cricket. Usually children they like to play cricket, they like to play football, they like to play different types of games, but Gandhiji was a shy natured boy, he did not like to attend the uh, gymnastic class or he did not uh, like to play cricket or any game also. right? So, this is about the second part, let us know the important ideas of this part. You see this is gymnastics different types of exercises and uh, Gandhi's headmaster Mr. Idul Jimmy, he gave importance on all these things. He said all the children of his high school should attend these gymnastic classes and they should do these exercises. Right? And you like cricket, you love cricket, but Gandhiji who did not like it, he did not want to attend the cricket field, go to the cricket field and to play with his friends. Right. So, this is about his headmaster. So, look at his screen, have a look at the image of his headmaster, Dorabji Idul Jimmy, his headmaster, a popular among the boys, a man of discipline, a strict person a man of method and a good teacher, he was also made gymnastics and cricket compulsory. So, my dear children, you may be asked to write answers in 50 words. So, you can also get a question, write something about Gandhi's headmaster, describe Gandhi's headmaster or uh, give a, or write something briefly about his headmaster. So, these are the five things you should focus on. What is Gandhi's the name of the or Gandhi's headmaster was Mr. Dorabji Idulji Jimmy, who was a good teacher, he was a teacher of method, he was a disciplinarian and he was a strict teacher and he liked cricket and gymnastics very much. He made these two things compulsory for each and every child. Right. Let us discuss some comprehension questions, so that you can understand the text better. Right. This is about young Gandhi, you see, no participation in any exercise, cricket or football, before they were made compulsory. His shyness, one of the reasons of his non-participation, uh, his false notion about gymnastics and edu in education, he has an uh, idea that he had a wrong notion that there is no place or this is not important, gymnastics and cricket, these are not important in education. This was his wrong idea before that, but later he changed his opinion, he changed his idea, he changed his notion, uh, he thought that this is also very important for each and every child. That is why in the later stage after high school career, he, he experienced that, he realized that there must be uh, you give, given or the or importance must be given on these two things. So, let us discuss some questions. Number one, what was uh, he very much careful about, about his char character? He was uh, uh, very much careful about his character, uh, he writes a sentence, I uh, jealously guarded my character, I very carefully I guarded my character. Right. Next question, what would draw tears from his eyes? The least little blemish, the smallest fault, the smallest mistake, a very small mistake even drew tears from his eyes, he was crying. Question number 3, what is more important for Gandhi winning prizes or building character? Actually building character, Gandhi focused on building character. Right. Next question, let us go to the next question. Which standard did Gandhi receive physical punishment? We have already discussed in the first and second standard, once he got corporal punishment, punishment beating with sticks. Right. Who was his headmaster? Mr. Dorabji Idul Jimmy was his headmaster. Then next question, why was he popular? He was very much popular because he was a disciplinarian, a man of method and a good teacher. That is why all the children, all the teachers, they loved him very much, he was very popular. Question number 7, what was made compulsory for the boys of the upper standard? We have already discussed the two things, gymnastics and cricket, which Gandhiji did not like 
but these two things were given importance in that school and his headmaster made these two things uh, compulsory for each and every child. So, we will discuss again some more questions and we can understand the text. So, students uh, uh, let us go to the next question, question number 8. Uh, so, I disliked both, what does both refer to? Here both means, I have already told you, we have discussed Gandhi's headmaster, Mr. Jimmy made compulsory, made gymnastics and cricket compulsory and Gandhi ji disliked both. So, I disliked both means, here both means both gymnastics and cricket. Let us go to question number 9. What was the reason for Gandhi's dislike for cricket and gymnastics? The first reason is his shyness. I have already told you he was uh, a shy boy and he did not like to mix with others to play with others. Question number 10. What false idea did Gandhi have about gymnastics? And gymnastics had nothing to do with education. This was his wrong notion, wrong idea uh, during his high school career. That is why he did not give importance. And the last question of uh, for this uh, paragraph number 2. What was his view on gymnastics later? Later, he viewed that, he told that physical training should have as much place as in curriculum or like mental training. Physical training should have as much place in the curriculum as mental training. So, both the things mental and physical, both the things should be given same or equal importance, right. I think you understand this part and you can answer uh, easily and better in your uh, uh, when you are going to answer the questions and let us go to the next paragraph, paragraph number 3, right. So, listen to me and uh, take a look at the screen, at the text. The reason for my dislike was my keen desire to serve as nurse to my father. As soon as the school closed, I would hurry home and begin serving him. Compulsory exercise came directly in the way of the service. I requested Mr. Jimmy to exempt me from gymnastics, so that I might be free to serve my father, but he would not listen to me. Now, it happened that one Saturday, when uh, we had school in the morning, I had to come from home to school for gymnastics at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I had no watch and the cloud deceived me. Before I reached the school, the boys had all left. The next day, Mr. Jimmy examining the roll found me marked absent. Being asked for the reason of absence, I told him what had happened. He refused to believe me and ordered me to pay a fine of one or two onats. So, there are a few words which uh, may be new to you and let us know the meaning of those words. Exempt means free, to free or to make free. Deceived, the clouds deceived Gandhiji means the cloud, cloudy weather cheated or disappointed Gandhiji. Refused that is denied or said no. So, again we will discuss this paragraph, paragraph number 3. So, you just look at the reason for my dislike was my keen desire to serve as nurse to my father. Actually, Gandhiji wanted to serve, to give service to his father. His father was old and he was on bed, he was lying on bed. That is why every day he wanted to serve his father. Mind your children, you see. So, when he was studying in high school, he was also very much interested to serve his father and this would happen also in your case. All the children, they should also like their parents, they should love their parents, they should also take care of their old parents like Gandhiji this uh, we should learn from this text. So, we should be polite, we should be humble, we should accept the punishment for our fault, right. We should not be proud and we should also help our parents, we should support our parents, we should assist our parents, we should serve our parents in their need. And compulsory exercise came directly in the way of service. So, dear children, Gandhiji said, when I was serving my father and that was my physical training, that was my physical exercise. So, there was no need of going to the gymnastics classes and to do exercises. So, what he did? He went to the headmaster, Mr. Jimmy, the strict headmaster. 
he requested him please exempt me from these two classes, but please make me free because I am serving my father please make me free, but Mr. Jimmy outrightly completely rejected his request. No, you cannot do that, you have to because these two subjects, two exercises uh, have been made compulsory, you have to attend the classes, you have to do exercises. right? So, what happened one Saturday, you just look at the text, uh, you can know one Saturday, right? the school was morning school and there was a gymnastic class at 4 pm and Gandhiji wanted to attend that class, but the weather was uh, cloudy it was a cloudy weather, clouds covered the sky and Gandhiji did not have any watch with him, he did not, he could not know the time, he was serving his father, so he was late. When he arrived the gymnastic class, all the children with the teacher, they had left the place. So, Gandhiji was unhappy, he returned and he was very, very uh, painful, uh, it was very painful for him. Uh, he was shocked uh, for this instance and he thought that how uh, the headmaster could be convinced. Let us see what happened. So, this is the incident one Saturday, right. Let us see, okay, let us discuss this paragraph first and then again we will consolidate the uh, 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 all the, these two paragraphs. Paragraph 4, I was convicted of lying that deeply pained me, how was, to, how, how was I to prove my innocence? There was no way, I cried in deep anguish. I saw that a man of truth must also be a man of care. This was the first time and last instance of my carelessness in school. I had a faint recollection that I finally succeeded in getting the fine remitted. The exemption from exercise was of course obtained as my father wrote himself to the headmaster saying that he wanted me at home after school. Right. So, a few new words innocence means uh, blamelessness, anguish, severe upset, pain, grief, sorrow, remitted, held up or stopped or made free, obtained, got, achieved or received. I obtained this means I got this, right. Remitted, the fine was remitted, the fine was stopped, but it was held up. That means, he did not give the fine. Anguish uh, or mental pain, right he was in deep anguish means he was in mental, he was in deep mental pain, right. So, let us discuss. So, next day what happened? Next day when he came to school, uh, that incident deeply pained him and uh, he, feel, he felt that actually a man of, a man of truth must also be a man of care. He told the headmaster, right but the headmaster did not realize it, he did not believe Gandhiji and he finally, he fined one or two onats. Actually, Gandhi does not remember whether it was one ona or two onats, that is why he has written, I was fined one or two onats, right. So, this was the first instance and after this, he was uh, very careful, he became very careful and he did not actually make any other mistake during his high school career. Right. So, dear children, you see his keen desire to serve his father as nurse. After school, he hurried home to serve his father. Compulsory exercise came directly in the way of his service. He requested Mr. Jimmy to exempt him from gymnastics, but Mr. Jimmy did not listen to him. These are the most important ideas we discussed in paragraph 3. Right. And next paragraph, you see one certain day in that paragraph, in one certain day what happened? School was in the morning. He had to come school for gymnastics at 4 pm, and before he reached the school, the boys had left. And why he was late? Because he did not have watch, and the weather was cloudy. And what happened next day? You just see. Next day, what happened? Next day, he went to school, and the headmaster actually marked, uh, looked at the attendance register, he found that Gandhiji was absent and he got angry and he asked Gandhiji. Gandhiji wanted to convince him, he told the truth, but he, the headmaster did not believe it and finally, he ordered him to pay a fine of one or two onats. 
right and he was convicted of lying and he was deeply pained right there was no proof he could not convince the headmaster cried in deep anguish and he thought a man of truth must also be a man of care so what happened at last his father actually wrote a letter and he wanted to make free from this gymnastics and cricket classes and finally the headmaster allowed him not to come to serve his father finally he was able to get remitted or he was uh, uh, freed of this fine he did not give fine because of his father's request to the headmaster right so we discuss all these things let's uh, understand the text better by the help of some questions question number 1 what was the special reason for gandhi ji's dislike for gymnastics his keen desire keen means strong desire to serve as nurse to his father he was very very interested to serve his father that's why this is the most important reason for which gandhi ji did not attend the gymnastics class number 2 what came directly in the way of his service to his father compulsory exercise gandhi ji thought if i am serving my father then i am doing something and that is my exercise so why should i go to the gymnastics class why should i attend the cricket class rather i should stay here i should do something at home i should serve my father so that i can also do this type of physical exercises at home right next question what did gandhi request mr jimmy gandhi requested mr jimmy to exempt him from gymnastics class i have already told you he requested i am serving my father please make me free from this two classes gymnastics and cricket but Mr. Jimmy, Mr. Headmaster was a very man, strict person. He directly, outrightly, he denied. He rejected his request. Let's go to the next question. So, what are the special? Uh, did Mr. Jim grant his request? No. Why did he go to school late? Because of uh, he did not have watch and the weather was cloudy. Mr. Jimmy believed what he said. No, he did not believe. How much he was fined? One or two onas. Actually, he did not remember whether it was two onas or one onas. That's why Gandhi has written the fine was two or one onas. So, what was Gandhi convicted of? Lying. Actually, Gandhi, you see, Gandhi did not tell a lie. But what happened? His headmaster thought Gandhi told him a lie. He actually he attended the class, but it was late. There was nobody. But uh, headmaster did not believe that was a very actually uh, very critical incident in his life, or that uh, he was shocked deeply for this, right? So what pained him so much? The conviction of lying, that was the most important punishment in his career, right? And the next question: What lesson did he learn from his from this incident? He learned that a man of truth must be a man of care. You may be truthful, you may tell the truth, but you must be a careful man, otherwise you cannot do anything. So, my dear children, now we discussed the first four paragraphs of at the high school. In the first paragraph, we discussed about his Gandhi stories, about his certificates, rewards and scholarships, about his teachers. Second paragraph we discussed actually his recollections memory third and fourth paragraph we discussed how he was punished and how he, he was remitted how he, his fine was remitted and i think you understand and i think it is uh, the time is going to be over and please read the text the first half of the text at home and in the next session we will discuss the rest part i think you understand better thank you very much.